in Scratch. Remember, it's always really important to be able to keep track of exactly what instructions being executed. Let's look at this puzzle with tempo in Scratch. Here I have a complicated script. I set the tempo to 60. I repeat four times, changing the tempo by 10. I repeat five times, changing the tempo by negative 3. I repeat 10 times, changing the tempo by 2. Let's look at that piece by piece. First, I set the tempo to 60. Set ignores whatever the tempo was before and sets it to 60. So I know it's 60 now. And then I'm going to change the tempo by 10. That's like adding 10. I will execute this block four times because it says repeat four. So that's like adding 10 four times. So I know at the end of this repeat, tempo should be 60 plus 40. Let's try running just that part of the script. This is a really helpful strategy to be able to try different parts of the script to see if it does what you think it does. So I'll double click on this and we can watch how tempo changes. Yep, tempo is 100. Let's look at this next piece where we repeat 5 and each time we change the tempo by negative 3. So there we change the tempo by negative 3 or subtract 3 from the tempo 5 times. That's like subtracting 15 from the tempo. So if we ended with 100 after this first set, after this it should subtract 15, so we should have 85. Let's try running that now. Yep, we got 85. Now, this last piece changes the tempo by 2, and we repeat that 10 times. That's like adding 2 10 times. So afterwards, the tempo should be 20 higher. Let's add it and see if that's what we get. So we're expecting 105. Looks good. So two really important things to remember. One, it's really important to know what line of code is being executed. And two, it can be really helpful for debugging a script if you run different parts of it at a time. If you have a more complicated script, it can be a good idea to duplicate your script so you don't lose any of your work. Keep practicing to get better at computer science.